Welcome everyone, this is Kevin from CXC Tutor, and in today's video, we'll be going through the solutions to question 1C from the 2016 May-June Mathematics Paper 2. So let us begin. In this question, it says, orange juice is sold in cartons of three different sizes, and represented with a table that gives us the carton size and its selling price. The first juice contains 350 milliliters and is sold at $4.20. The second juice contains 450 milliliters and is sold at $5.35. And the last juice contains 500 milliliters and is sold at a price of $5.80. We're asked now, which size of orange juice is the most cost effective by? And we're asked to justify our answer. One of the ways to solve this question is to look for the juice that costs the least per milliliter. And so we don't get confused during our calculations, I'll label the juices accordingly. The first juice I'm going to label as one, the second one is juice number two, and the third one is juice number three. So starting with the first juice, we want to work out its cost per milliliter. So it says that it costs four dollars and twenty cents and it contains three hundred and fifty milliliters so that should give us the cost per milliliter as zero point zero one two per ml for juice number two it costs us five dollars and 35 cents and the amount of milliliters you have is 450 therefore its cost per milliliter is equal to 0 0.0119 and finally the last juice costs us five dollars and 80 cents and contains 500 mil milliliters. And therefore, you get an answer of 0 0.0116 per milliliter. So the most cost effective juice to buy is in fact juice number three. Although you're paying more upfront, it seems you're paying the least amount for every one milliliter of orange juice in the container. Before we close this question, I just want to point out that there is an alternative way of solving it. If you didn't agree or like the first method, we could have always done the second one. So in this second method, we could have in the beginning worked out which juice gave us the most milliliters in the carton per dollar. So essentially we'd be doing the opposite of the first method in which we now we divide now the amount of milliliters by the selling price. So for the first juice, it contains 350 ml and let us now divide by $4.20. That should give us a value of 83.3 .3 milliliters per dollar. For the second juice, that is 450 ml divided by five dollars and 35 cents that would give us a value of 84.1 per dollar and finally for the last juice that is 500 ml and we are essentially dividing by five dollars and 80 cents which will give us 86.2 milliliters per dollar. So remember in this method we are looking for the most amount of juice you can buy with one dollar. So our answer again is the third juice. So I hope you understand now that in mathematics there's usually more than one way to solve a question and if you found this video useful please feel free to like, share and comment. You can also visit us at cxtutor.com. As always, thank you for watching.